This is so badass. I wish I had a permit. All these arowanas were babies last time I was here. A little tank of baby sturgeons here. Gosh dang it. This has turned into like an exotic pond and it is so clear. Just look at that. This is our new catfish. Oh, oh my god. Look at the whiskers on that. What is going on, Kaferos? Welcome back to another video here. If you are new, my name is Paul Kaferro. Today, today is all about the 160 behind me here. We are about to go pick up a fish for this 160. You can see one behind me right there. Um, I didn't want to, I don't want to spoil anything, but I do want to hop right into today's title and thumbnail. So with that being said, let's head on over to Predatory Fins where we picked up this guy right here behind me. Oh, we are here. This is unreal. We got a bunch of bicers over here. I was, I would get one of these if they had one half the size of albino, but just a little too big. A bunch, a bunch of catfish. There's the ones that eat like everything. Um, oh, there's a bicer. There's actually bicers. Okay, changed my mind. We're probably gonna get one of those as well. Check out this tank, just loaded with peacock bass. Pretty cool. Those things must be. Imagine putting a live tilapia in there. Uh, there's a little albino bicer. Too small though, arowana would murk that thing. Um, all sorts of stuff. Clown knife back up in there, and uh, just a ton of different species, but this is so badass. I wish I had a permit. If I had a permit, I would buy so many of these. These are actually baby arapaima. All those baby arapaima right there. And there's actually, it just keeps on going. And another thing is, if you come over here, Look at all the arapaima again. All these arapaima right here. Also some tarpon right here, but we're actually gonna go see a bigger version of this right now. Okay, so right below me here is the tent, the, the, I should say pool pond, full of every species you can think of. Any and every species. Right behind Nick here, you can see a giant arapaima literally just sitting there. That's what one of those babies are. Uh, they grow up to be that. All these arowanas were babies last time I was here. We got an albino iridescent right there. A few big red tail catfish over here. Uh, we got sturgeons. Sturgeons swimming across right there. There's another sturgeon. There's actually a tarpon right there. There's a knife fish. A bunch of the spotted rays. There's actually fly river turtles in here. Such an awesome tank. This is like, this is the coolest ever. Just look at that. We got the albino red tail catfish right there. And then uh, a tigris, I think, some sort of catfish. I can't, I only can see the head of that catfish. So on August 26th, uh, anyone that doesn't know about this, I'll have the picture pop up right here. You guys can come meet me, Raw Fishing, and Catch Em All Fishing, and a few other YouTubers there. Nick, Nick, you coming? I'm coming. Nick's coming, Nick's, Nick will be there. Uh, there'll be a bunch of people here, it's gonna be a blast. It's the opening of Predatory Fins. There's gonna be a giant aquarium right there. All these fish will be set and ready for people to come and check them out. Sunday, August 26, 2018, here in Florida. You can get your tickets at www.fishbash.com. I'll have everything linked in the description. Go get your tickets. I believe it's like $10, nothing at all. This reptile exhibit, food, all sorts of things. It's not only gonna be just meeting us, it's gonna be a blast. Uh, and everyone's gonna be here, so come check it out. August 26th. Now let's get back to this video. Cool. Yeah, I know. We got some golden dorados back there. You can see them swimming across right here. Look at that. There he goes. There's actually a few in there. Vicious fish right there. Hey, look, little blood parrot chilling. A little tank of baby sturgeons here. So cool, man. Look at that. There's actually some albinos back there. Little baby sturgeons. Pointy nose. And then over here is, this is like my dream tank right here, both of these. See how big it is? That's exactly what I want. Hey, me and the reflection, hi. The sturgeon are so cool. Look at the red, look at the red. Look at the red. I know. Come here, big girl. All right, we got shrimp, which is I guess what he feeds them. Arapaima. Oh, he ate it, just like that. So cool, everything he just eats on command. Um, arowana. Gone. <laughs> Look how big the platinum gar got. Last time I was here, it was half that size. And there's a bunch of little sturgeon in here as well. 
All right, now we need a catfish for the 160 as well, so I'm gonna do this jumper catfish right here. Is what that's called. It's actually a uh, cousin of the Dorado catfish. Now a Dorado catfish is absolutely massive, and this is what uh, the cousin looks like. So not as big, not as aggressive, but will still destroy a live bait if you put it in there. So we're gonna do, he's gonna be a cool deal on both of these, so we gotta do both. Holy crap. So we came for right there. Oh yeah. Oh, this is Fred. That's what we came for right there, right, Nick? Oh, sorry. Yeah, we came for those two catfish. So we got a two catfish. The other one just came with it. I really just wanted the one that's the cousin of the Dorado. Uh, that's what I mainly wanted. Was well, we got both our bags of fish. I'm not exactly sure. Holy moly. Yay. Not exactly sure what we're gonna do with that other catfish. So with that being said, y'all, I hope I see you here on August 26th. Mark it on your calendars and uh, yeah, uh, let's head home. We have a bunch of frog eggs. As you can tell right here, these are all frog eggs. Gosh dang it. Look at that. Whole row of them. And then our mini pond. The plant slipped out from over there. And then you can tell it's a little sleeping area for all the mollies. Also, uh, I put a plant right here that did not last long. Our fellow turtle over there just trimmed it for me. Like a little, he had a little meal. There's our gar down there. There's the largemouth. We got the red tails back out of the pool pond and put them into here. We're gonna do something else with that pool pond. This has turned into like an exotic pond and it is so clear. Just look at that. Also, here's our few koi fish, the paku right there. Uh, this, is, this is dope. Here is our aquarium that we made also in one of these past recent videos. You can see our neon tetras back there and as well as up here in the front schooling and then our, where are they? And there's our quarry cats. This tank came out amazing. Good night. Luna, the betta fish, chilling. Wait, she needs to go to bed too. George, George is always, always ready to eat, so let's feed him. Dude, George is the homie. George, you ready to eat? Come on, bud. Oh, did not last long. There's another, above view. Oh, so sick. There it is, bud. Oh, gosh. All right, George. Adios. Till tomorrow morning. Now, our angelfish tank fish come in uh, one, two days. Two days they come. They ship out tomorrow, and then they arrive the next day. Clown loaches back there hiding, as well as our one angelfish. Yep. Check this thing out. Wow. Now, that is a Vulture potential, time. very potential meal for Thump, but I think it's too fast, so... We're gonna let him, it's about the same size as the red tail, so I think it should be good. Right there. There she goes, she doesn't even know where she is right now. It is right there in that rock. It's gonna find a hole just like the red tails do down there. Uh, that was just an extra throw in fish, so we'll see how she goes, we'll see how big she might get. Dump, stay away from her. Now let's bring this OG into the 160. This is gonna be so sick. This is our new catfish. Oh, that thing's big. It's really big. Oh! Where is it? There it is. So we got our two, of course, our royal plecos right there. Uh, our paku, which will definitely go in the big pond eventually. Just get it a little bit bigger so Thump doesn't get them. And uh, there is our catfish, our jumper cat. Also, if you see behind that pipe right there, there's an albino bushel nose placo. Here we go though, guys. Look at this jumper cat. Let's get a nice montage. Look at the lips on that fish right there. So clearly from what you guys can see, this tank is 
fairly empty. It has barely anything in it. That is our first fish. I did have an arowana in here initially, uh, but it was not mine. It was actually Nick's, and I played a little trick on the internet. I showed it in the background of one of my videos, and everyone was like, arowana, but I will probably eventually get an arowana for this tank right here. Uh, but we do have our catfish. We're gonna get a lot more in here. Obviously, it's not filled yet, but this is the plan We got maybe an arowana, uh, maybe an Oscar. We already have a Paku that will probably outgrow this very fast A Bicer could be a choice. Uh, there's a ton of stuff that we could probably get for this aquarium Not exactly sure how much we will get just yet though Today's positive comment shout out goes to Avery and Kenzie show saying love your videos so entertaining Thank you Avery and Kenzie and thank you to all those who do support me in the comments down below If you do want to win a positive comment shout out all you got to do is comment something positive down below on this video Be sure to hit that subscribe button also turn your post notifications on And if you want to do me an extra favor just hit the like button on this video as well See if we can get like 10,000 likes. I mean it's Thank you all for watching uh, this is our new catfish. Drop a name down below for the catfish as well. I would love to see all the comments. We see it every time I get a new fish. Everyone knows right away. Name that fish in the description below. If I do like the name or it does get enough likes, I'll end up naming it that. So thank you all for watching or being here for another video.